Hello, I've got a great video for you today. I'm taking a look at three different NVMe SSDs. So hindsight is 2020. I bought four terabyte crucials and they don't have DRAM, so I'm not using them, but I accidentally, well, started using them. So I've got a little bit of test data before I stopped using them. Luckily it was only a few gigs. I've got the Inland Performance Plus it is a four terabyte. I'm gonna have the data sheets all in a second. And for the operating system, I've got the Samsung 990 Pro. So we're gonna take a quick look at each of the SSDs before um, while going over the specs and the performance. So this is the Crucial. It is single-sided. It's just got this little bit of heat spreader or sticker. In theory, this is a copper sticker, so it helps spread out the heat, but you're probably gonna to wanna to use it with a heat sink. Uh, overall, I found them to run fairly, fairly cool, um, and they're only single-sided, so that'll be great for your uh, slimmer systems, but uh, like we'll see in the specs, they're DRAMless, so they're not great for operating systems. Next right here, we have the 990 Pro. I've been a fairly big fan of Samsung for a little while now. On the back, it's got nothing, but it does have a sticker here. Um, I don't feel any NAND flash there, so that means it's all on the front. So again, great for your laptops to fit very compactly. And this has DRAM, so it should operate fairly well. It's well reviewed. And last but not least is the Inland. This is a Micro Center brand uh, SSD. It has packages on both sides so it has DRAM so it is not as well suited for your thin and light laptop applications because it's going to have heat generating components on both sides so it's a little bit harder to keep cool but for my specific application uh, where airflow will be able to get underneath it it should do just fine and now that we've gone over the preview of each of the drives let's see how the specs look and then the performance all right, let's get some spec information and then we'll get some performance information on these SSDs. So first, the Crucial P3 Plus. Uh, when I went looking for it, it was $235. It's PCI Express a four, or Gen 4 by 4 it uses a Fizen E21T, no DRAM, 176 layers in QLC, so that's four bits per uh, area. And then it's read-write speeds, endurance, and it's warranty. Then you have the Samsung. 990 Pro, it's $320, so it's substantially higher price, but it does come with DRAM, which is significantly important for your read writes and like OS operations. So if you're looking for just cheap storage, I mean the P3 Plus looks good, but if you need snappy performance, Samsung looks like a better option. It is also PCI Express Gen 4x4, uh, 176 layers, TLC, so that's three bits per uh, sector and it's read-write speeds, and it's endurance. Notice that it's significantly better. Then we have the Inland Performance Plus. It's $270, hitting a medium price point. It uses a Fizen controller. It also has DDR4 RAM. It has 96 layers of TLC, and it's read-write speeds a little bit slower, but it has higher endurance. Not by a lot, by a little bit, and it has a six-year warranty. I did learn that you do have to go into Micro Center to get its warranty. It is not online registration. And then we have the Cardia A440. This is a team group, I think, uh, SSD. I can't find it for sale anymore. Otherwise, I would have bought more of these things because when I bought it, it was fantastic and it served my purpose really well. It is a, the same controller as the Inland, which is great to see, DDR4, 176 layer, Micron, TLC RAM, or not RAM chips, uh, it's read-write speeds comparable to the Samsung, and read and endurance on uh, the same order as the Inland, but only a five-year warranty, which is still plenty sufficient for most people. Okay, now we have the performance information. These are all the SSDs type devices I've ever owned. Um, this is using Crystal Disk Mark, uh, sequential read-write speeds, Q8, T1 and the other one is Q1 T1 and we do have the values for the speeds because they get a little bit hard to read for read and write. Uh, write is in red, read is in blue and the 990 Pro is at 
7,376, and 6,953. I believe that matches pretty close to the spec, so that's great to see. The Performance Plus, which is the Inland, if we're paying attention to the naming scheme, is right behind it. Like in real world applications, you're not going to notice that speed difference. Uh, the reason I went to Samsung for the OS is because reliable brand and ease of transferring the OS over it with the software that is included with the Samsung. And then the T Force, uh, Cardia A440 Pro, is right in line with them. It's slightly faster than Performance Plus, but slightly slower than the 90 Pro. But uh, Crystal Disk Mark is kind of finicky sometimes where depending on what's going on rerunning it a dozen times you're going to get a dozen different answers um, I reran it three times kind of averaged the results and it came out in this order the p3 pluses are significantly slower however they are still significantly faster than old gen 3 SSDs so uh, the 980 pro is gen 4 but I have it in a gen 3 slot so it's operating as a gen 3 and then this um, right there the that's just whatever came in one of my laptops. And which one? Oh, there's the one that came in the Yoga. I believe that is a um, what OEM version of a Samsung. So it gives you some performance criteria. And then you can, I know I focused on one sequential, but you can see where the performance lies in the other one. And it, you know, they line up the same. When we take a look at random speeds, well, things shake up a little bit. Surprisingly, the 980 Pro was faster than the 990 Pro, despite the 990 Pro having a significantly higher amount of storage, that a four terabyte versus a one terabyte. The Cardia is next. So these two, the 980 and the Cardia, Cardia A440, let's go with that, are on my desktop, while the bottom four were tested out in a brand new kind of it's not test system, but uh, let's just say an encoding system um, for my in-house, which is theoretically using a uh, Gen 5 PCI Express, but they're all operating in Gen 4 mode, but it is a laptop chip. Um, but I don't know if that was a problem with it or not, but for whatever reason, those two just performed better. And if we take a look at the other random one, the ordering is kind of similar so uh, you know it is what it is I am not a storage expert uh, but I am able to run tests uh, even if not able to fully like do that so uh, this is the raw data it's what I collected when I ran the tests it's just a picture of the desktop when I did it so both crucials over here and then we have the 990 Pro on the top and the Inland on the bottom. And with that, I'm very happy with the 980 Pro and Inland Performance Plus. I did end up returning the Crucial P3s uh, simply because they did not have DRAM. And the, my use case is going to ha be heavy read-write uh, realistically. So I was very much concerned about the endurance. If I was looking for bulk storage for probably games, that would be sufficient and I would have no qualms with the performance whatsoever. I just wanted to lay that out there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Computer Tech and more. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.